my name is Ibuona Isaac Bear from Mary Science Lab. Today, we're doing another AP Calculus problem. Saborno Isaac completed solving one million calculus problems. This one is kind of tricky because I got it wrong the first time that I tried it. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, what we're going to do is we're trying to find the limit as h approaches zero of sine of pi over 2 plus 8 minus 1 over 8. And here's just a reminder that the entire AP exam is in radians. So that's why you see the pi there. So, what do we do here? Well, let's first take the mindset of someone who doesn't see the solution. So, what they would think is, let's try to approach the limit from the right. Approaching the limit from the right, we get sine of, uh, as h approaches zero, then it basically becomes pi over two, plus a very small amount, and then minus one. And since this is sine of pi over two, then this is basically equal to a really small amount. And then dividing by h, h is also a really small amount. So you would think, for example, it'd be one. Wait, maybe it is one. I'm not quite sure, actually. But the crucial thing comes in realizing that one is sine of pi over two. Because when you realize that, let's try to rewrite the equation. The limit as h equals zero of sine pi over 2 plus 8 minus sine of pi over 2 over 8. Does this remind you of something? If it doesn't, then take a look at this. Uh, no, not sine. That's right. This is the standard form of f prime of x. Uh, and in this case, f of x is sine of pi over 2. So this is simply the derivative of sine pi over 2. Or rather, it's the derivative of sine x with x equals pi over 2. All right, so now what is the derivative of sine of x? Well, that's equal to cos x. And what or happened when we plug in pi over 2. Well, cosine of pi over 2, pi over 2 is 180. So, plugging in 180 to pi over 2 gives you, oh, wait, no, uh, pi is 180. So, this is cosine 90. What is cosine 90? It's 0. So, that means that this is our answer. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.